Most Android smartphones these days come with a hole at the top of the display to house the front facing camera. We've seen Apple use this for its dynamic island since it's going to be there anyway. And we've seen some app developers mimic this on Android, but I recently came across a more interesting application called Touch the Notch. The goal of this Android app is to create shortcut actions with the camera hole on your device. You can set up these shortcuts for simple taps, long press gestures, double taps, and swipe gestures. This application can be installed for free from the Google Play Store, and you can find it by searching for Touch the Notch, but I'll be sure to link to this app directly down in the video description below. This app is free, but it does come with some in-app purchases that I'll be getting into a bit later. With the application installed, we can go ahead and open it up and you'll be greeted by the data access declaration page, which tells you that since the application does not have access to the internet, your data is not being sent off to some server. This could change with future updates, but for now it does not harvest or sell any of your data. After we get to the main page of the Touch the Notch application, you will see that it requires some permissions before it can work properly. So let's tap on this drop down menu right here and go through the checklist. After checking off the haptic feedback permission, which will vibrate on a touch, we can then move on to the main permission. So once we check that off, we're going to get some information about why this permission is needed, along with the step-by-step -step instructions on how to get to it. We can go ahead and tap on Agree, and the app should take you directly to that settings page where you can come in and grant this main permission. We should not need to enable the shortcut toggle. And with that done, we can go back to the main page for the application. We can set up the application to apply the gestures for the entire status bar instead of just the camera cutout if you wanted, but we'll be sticking to the notch option only in today's video. There's also an optional feature that allows us to disable these shortcuts when the device is in landscape mode. So for those cases when you know you don't need access to those shortcuts in that orientation, we can disable that here. With those permissions set up, we can now configure the actual actions for touch the notch. So let's start with the single touch. And we have a lot of different things to choose from, like toggling the rear facing LED light, capturing a screenshot, launching the power menu, minimizing the application drawer, launching the default camera application, opening up the recents menu, launching a specific application, and more. We can also set it to configure the orientation of the device, toggle do not disturb mode, open up a QR code reader, triggering an automated task, launching a specific website, and much, much more. If you see a flame icon next to the shortcut action, then it's just there to inform you that this specific action 
will require an additional permission to be granted before it can work. And tapping on it will take you directly to the page where you need to grant that permission request. For this specific demonstration, we're going to have the single tap action set to toggle the camera flashlight. We can see that here in the menu after it has been set. And we can test that action by simply performing a single touch tap action on our camera shortcut. You can see once that has been set, that action is very easy to trigger by simply tapping on our notch, our camera cutout, to toggle the rear facing LED torch. And remember, we have five different actions that we can set up for single touch taps, long press gestures, double taps, and two swipe gestures for swiping to the left and swiping to the right. So if we wanted to set the single touch action to toggle our rear facing camera LED and set a long touch gesture to open up a selected application, we can do that very quickly and very easily from the touch the notch application. Each of these shortcuts can be set to something different, which can be really useful for those things that you frequently do on your smartphone or tablet. I like using apps like this to automate things, such as adjusting the screen brightness and launching frequently used apps without having to find them in the home screen or the application drawer. The only in-app purchase within this app seems to be from the support page. So at least as of right now, there aren't any gated features hidden behind a paywall. I really enjoy the creative thinking that this developer went through when coming up with this application since so many phones these days are using a hole punch for the front facing camera, then we should be taking advantage of that with custom actions like this.